Heavy Barracudas, and welcome to BNN. I'm your host, Mr. Kretsch, coming to you live from our SoCo Studios. Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Yay! And now it's time for this week's Bagby Bravos. McKenna Palmer in grade five for Miss Rodriguez's class was caught being responsible while doing a science experiment from Google Classroom and completing her state report. She has been responsible by continuing her learning and has been on Google Classroom frequently. Way to go, McKenna. Amelia from Miss Ma's second grade class was caught being kind to her little sister, Hannah. She helped Hannah stay safe on the backyard obstacle course. Way to go, Amelia. Malia from Miss Cummings' room was caught being kind by her mom. Malia FaceTimed a friend in Miss Stevenson's class and read her two stories. Then they played Barbies for an hour on the phone. Freya from Miss Bacon's third grade class has consistently been making good choices, in particular being responsible. Freya has shown incredible maturity this week. She has worked independently through her assignments for Miss Bacon with very minimal supervision, which has enabled her mom to help her brother. She's been very self-motivated and really taken responsibility for herself and her, her work. Freya's mom has been super impressed and is very proud of her. Tyson from Miss Ma's second grade class was caught by his mom making great choices. After his video chat with some fellow second graders, he cleaned up all of his things in his room and he took that he took out during the video chat to show his friends without a reminder. Thanks for being responsible, Tyson. Daniel from Miss London's fourth grade class was caught being responsible. He is consistently washing his hands and being kind. After his mother's exhausting workday, he kindly brings her some food and entertains her with some magic tricks he's learned from YouTube. Thanks for being so kind and responsible, Daniel. Carissa from Miss Ma's second grade classroom was caught being responsible and respectful. Carissa was responsible by getting her schoolwork done while her mom was on video conference calls for several days last week. She went to another room to complete her work so her mom wouldn't have any distractions. Way to go, Carissa. Bo from Miss Rowe's first grade class was caught being kind and responsible by offering his brother a hand when he got hurt. He was also caught putting his trash in the trash can. Sam in Miss Sullivan's first grade class was caught being kind when he let his sister borrow his skateboard. He has also been very responsible in getting his work done daily. Louise from Miss Buckner's kindergarten class was very kind when offering to help around the house. Additionally, she has been very responsible in getting her schoolwork done. Keep up the great work, baby barracudas. Families, if you catch your child making good choices, send me a quick email and I'll feature them on next week's Bagby Bravos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, barracudas, it's time for this week's joke. What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? Skeleton? A dinosaur? <laughs> hey, it's time to read a story, and this week's story is Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. I selected it because it seems like it's rather appropriate given that all of us are stuck at home. Let's find out exactly what Oliver Je Jeffers was talking about when he wrote this story called Stuck. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose, and that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched the ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. What do you think happened? Ladder stuck in the tree? 
The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and definitely would be needing it back to, and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, so Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to du knock, knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, and an orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. This is getting kind of crazy. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went, first the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and went to find a saw. What do you think he's going to do with the saw? Hmm, I think I know what I would do with the saw in the tree. He lined it up best as he could, and hurled it up in the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree, and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep, exhausted, though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. What do you think he was forgetting? Maybe something out that window right there? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Looks like everybody else is still stuck while Floyd's in bed. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. And now for today's weather. We have a guest host with us today. Bumblebee, come on up. Bumblebee, on Monday, the high is going to be 62 and the low is going to be 45. What kind of weather is it going to be? Sunny! On Tuesday, the high is going to be 57 and the low is going to be 42. And what kind of weather is it going to be? Rainy! On Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 54 and a low of 40. What kind of weather can we expect, Bumblebee? Rainy! On Thursday, something's returning. It's going to have a high of 59. We're going to have a high of 59 and a low of 42. What kind of weather are we going to have? Sunny! And last day of the week, Friday, we're going to have a high of 59 and a low of 45 because it's going to be... Sunny! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks for checking out BNN. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you all next Monday, Barracudas. Choose kind.